Tickle on the tum. <laughs> Tickle on the what? Look down, there's Tickle Town. And there's the river tum. Tickle on the tum. Oh, yeah, Tickle on the tum. <laughs> What have you got on? This is my band, and I'll tell you something that doesn't half make people dash out in a hurry with their bins. Oh, I'm so surprised. <laughs> when did you invent this? Well, to tell you the truth, it was the day after the Tickle Summer Fair. We were in a right mess, and no mistake. Bins, bags, boxes everywhere, packed to the brim with rubbish. I mean, they're very clean normally, the Tickle Town people, they pack their rubbish away, but somebody's got to shift the bins in the boxes. And that somebody happens to be me, Bobby Bins Esquire, Refuse Disposal Officer, usually known as a bin man. Well, I was worn out with all that lifting and heaving. So, when all the work was done, and I'd eaten my four egg sandwiches, my two bananas, and my bar of fruit and nut, I got down to working on my latest invention, my automatic dustbin grabber for tired bin men with bad backs. In through the workshop door comes my boss, Dirty Dave. We call him Dirty Dave because he never changes. <clears throat> now myself, I like to wear a smart suit sometimes just to get the feel of being clean, but not Dirty Dave. What's all this then? Pointing to my automatic dustbin grabber for tired bin men with bad backs. So I explained. The tired dustbin man sits in the cab of his truck. Right, says Dirty Dave. Worn out with driving and lifting heavy bins, I says. Shame, says Dirty Dave. Now this here grabber, I says, is the cure for bad backs and weary dustbin men. I'm going to fix it to the back of my truck. I press a lever in my cab. <laughs> the arm of the grabber swings over, picks up the bin, empties it into the truck, and puts the bin back in the pavement. I press the lever, and the grabber swung across the workshop and knocked Dirty Dave's cap off. <laughs> it's a good thing, is my grabber. Except for the snag. What snag, says Dirty Dave. I've got to be able to see what I'm doing, haven't I, I says. I mean, if I'm sitting in my cab with a grabber behind me, I could be grabbing anything, couldn't I? I've got to invent a way of knowing when I'm grabbing a bin and when I'm knocking somebody's cap off. We talked about this for a bit. Then Dirty Dave came up with a real reason for his visit. It's the Grumble Town bins, he says. Overflowing there. Oh, no, I says. I'm not going up there. But that's another thing about Dirty Dave. He's good at making you do things you don't want to do, you know? So off I went to Grumble Town. <sighs> Strange place. All dingy grey houses with dingy grey doors and dirty windows and quiet. Oh, I thought they'd all gone their holidays, didn't I? But they hadn't. I could see the curtains twitching as I passed. So I decided to liven things up a bit. No harm in that, is there? I rooted about in the back of the truck to see what I'd got, and I come up with some smashing stuff. A couple of pan lids, an empty barrel, two wooden spoons, a bike pump, and a length of plastic pipe. I turned myself into a one-man band in no time I did. Up and down the street I went, bashing the pan lids together, thumping the barrel on my back with the wooden spoons. I tied them to my elbows at the time, and I got a fair old tune out of the bike pump and the bit of plastic pipe. <laughs> Bring out your bed! <laughs> they crept out of the houses and ones and twos and started complaining about the noise and the din and the terrible racket. <laughs> I'm off, I thought. Got to give up on this one. I turned to walk back to my truck. Now, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Maybe I slipped, or I could have got a bit tied up in the plastic pipe. Anyway, over I went, tumbling and clattering and clanking all the way down the hill. <laughs> and then I heard this noise. 
like a rot lot of sort of rusty old gates creaking open it was. <laughs> they were laughing. Only they were so out of practice. It didn't sound like laughing really. It was like <laughs> I told Dirty Dave about it when I got back. Well, he says, some people are like that. They can only laugh when somebody else is in trouble. <laughs> they can only be happy when they see somebody fall flat in his face. Well, just the way you look would be enough to make me laugh. It's Isn't fantastic. it fun? It's great. I tell you, do you know, it makes walking such an adventure. <laughs> yeah, these are just saucepan lids tied to my knees, you know. They're really easy to make. Look, and I'll tell you something, wait till you hear this. Now, you don't know where the noise is coming from, and I use it to give people frights at bus stops. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's such fun, isn't it? It's I fun. love it. Yeah. Well, what's that on the back? Well, this is just an old oil drum I found, and I hit it with this. We hear this noise, it's lovely. It's just like a real drum. Yeah, it's just like a real drum. You can make this yourself and have such fun. Yeah. Frighten your granny. <laughs> That's my hobby, you know, frightening my granny. That's <laughs> great. Isn't it? Perhaps we can play a tune later on. Oh, I'd love that. Well, look, since Danny's got a day off today, would you help me read the Tickle Post? Oh, that, are there more jokes? There are. Oh, I like that. That's my yeah. very favourite, I think. Now, the first one today is from Helen Dearden, and she's drawn a picture. She's from St Peter's School, Darwin, and she says, where did the bird get his new eyes from? I don't know. Where did the, new, the bird get his new eyes from? From the bird's eye shop. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right. <laughs> from Angelo Boffa of Clerkenwell School in London, Oh, this is a little poem. I have to say this myself. This isn't a question. There was a young man from Dumbarton who thought he could run like a Spartan. On his 39th lap, his braces went snap and his face went a red Scottish tartan. That's good. Very good. That must be for me. I'm Scottish, you know. Yeah. yeah. Here's well, the next one. No, I've got one here. Oh, this is one? from Stephen Schofield from Flixton, Lancashire. And he says, what is short, green and goes camping? camping. A given. What's short, green and goes camping? A boy sprout. Hooray! <laughs> That's a good one. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My turn again. From Lizzie Lincoln from Field Dolling in Norfolk. This is a little sketch. Can I do it myself? Please do, yeah. I've lost my dog. And why don't you put an advert in the paper? Don't be stupid. My dog can't read. <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. you. like that? Yeah, I like that one. I thought that it was, was rather good. good. Another Scottish one. Andrew Duncan from Newton Mearns in Glasgow. What is yellow and good at sums? I don't know. What is yellow and good at sum? A banana with a pocket calculator. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> That's, That's a beauty. That very good, that was. Yeah, That's my favourite. I think they were good. Better, better yeah, jobs yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah. Standards going up all the time. Going up all the time, yeah. I like rubbish, but not the smelly kind. I like the bits and pieces of the pokey behind. When I'm emptying the bins, I find the most amazing things. And I save them up to make my great inventions. The stuff they throw away gives me so much pleasure. It may be just junk to you, but to me it's very treasure. And I may just be a dustman, but I think it's fair to mention. People know me just as well for all of my inventions. I like rubbish, but not the smelly kind. I like the bits and pieces of the folk leave behind. When I'm emptying the bins, I find the most amazing things. And I save them up to make my great inventions. Now you would be surprised what people throw away. I save it in my magic bag to use it some old day. Oh, 
Thank you. 